Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a special what's in my target bag. I want to give a special shout out to my husband who supports my target shopping habit. Um, and I guess really I'm just going to do these from now on to show him exactly what I bought at Target when he asks. What did you buy at Target this time? So here we go. What's in my Target bag? I had a little small haul today of things that I kind of needed, so it wasn't too outrageous. It wasn't impulse. Not everything was an impulse, but I had an idea in my mind of what I needed, so I'm just putting that out there, babe. All right, mainly I went in because I have an allergy thing going on in my eye that's making it kind of rashy down here. So I needed some eye drops because my allergy pill isn't working to bring down the, the swelling. So I picked up some allergy eye drops. Then I saw some band-aids and my kids have been getting hurt. So I picked up some Incredibles band-aids. Which usually end up just being fun sticker toys. And that's why we never have band-aids. Next, you know, I felt like I need to cool my eyelids. I want to put something soothing on them. So when I found these, it was just perfect. So I can't wait to put these on. You know, maybe I'll put these on now. Might as well. All right, so super eye mask because I'm about to look like Superwoman right now. Hopefully they stay on my face. So it looks like that. Taking it out in plastic. It's all hydrated and moist. Moist. Sorry guys, you don't like the word moist. Because this is super moist. I'm just gonna keep saying moist. Things out of the way. Oh, it feels good. Oh, it's nice and cool, so it just feels like. Oh, oh. it just feels really calming and soothing because of the. Oh, right under there. Hopefully, this doesn't doesn't make my rash worse. Uh, my luck, it'll be worse. But look at that. I like how it goes all around and gets all around. Because, you know, sometimes your eyes just need some love. And that's where I'm at right now with allergy season. My eyes need some love. All right, so I got that. I guess I'll let you know live how, I, how that turns out for me. Um, so, that is a yes to cucumbers eye mask. And it says sit back and relax for 10 minutes after posting a selfie, of course. Hashtag yes to. Uh, remove eye mask. Tingling? Yes, it's working. Asterisk. Too much tingling? Take it off. I thought this was supposed to be calming. Tingling sounds like it's uh, stimulating. Oh, well. anyways, bought that. So, drops, band aids, eye mask, garbage. And then I've been having some blackheads. Some blackheads, so you know, my T zone gets really blackheady. And I haven't been able to, and up here too find anything that helps. So look at what I found when I was in the little Yes 2 masks. It's a two-step blackhead treatment. Bye bye blackheads. For your nose. And I guess the first one, it looked... anyways, I'm excited to try this one. And then next, because my face has been, oh my gosh, yes, it is tingling now. It's kind of burning this eye that has the problems. Yeah, I don't think I like that. Oh man. 
And it is tingling, but I don't know if that's best for my eye that's rashy right now. Uh, my new theory is that I should have just left it alone to heal after the eye drops. Oh well, let's see where we're at. So I'm taking this one for, I'm gonna take it for Gander. It, um, it's a hydrator with willow bark. The willow bark is an ingredient that is good for acne, so I'm excited to try this one out. It's a morning and nighttime hydrator, or moisturizer, they call it a hydrator. I'm excited to try that out. Actually, well, let me see how it works now. They also had an eye cream that I really wanted to try out, but I mean, they were like $18 each, and I had to only go with one and I figured depending if I like this this is the second product I've brought I've purchased through this bliss brand um, so if I like this then I'll commit to another $20 product it feels good it feels um, water-based slick water-based thin not too thick but it kind of feels like I'm just like rubbing a fine oil or a layer of water on my face. Yeah, it feels good. It smells like a light lotion, not really a heavy perfume. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Not bad. I like my skin to be hydrated. So hopefully that helps with my oil. And lastly, I was out of little sandwich bags, which I use them for snacks anyways, so I should have been purchasing snack bags all along. But I saw these little Avengers bags and I figured uh, my boys will like those. They like to show off to their friends, so got those for them. And that's that, that's my haul. I still ended up spending, what, like $45 on this? Come on now, guys. Get us together, Target. Come on! Why do you do this to women? Why do you put all of this stuff in front of us? So it comes with this little thing and this little thing, okay? Then we're going to I hope I can mix these two. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Step three, scissors. All right. I don't understand why you need so much of this, but it says, go ahead, it's black. This is like charcoal. This is the charcoal cleanser. I'll clean it. Ooh, this is strong. Oh, that went up my nose. You see that? Ooh, yeah. This smells like your typical yes to cucumbers. Yes to, or sorry, yes to tomatoes. I guess it reminds me of the yes to carrots one. It's just very like, like a powdery perfume smell. It's hard to explain, I don't know. Do they think my nose is this big to need this whole big packet for a one-time thing? I don't get it. Okay. All right. Anyway, so clean it. Now I'm gonna rinse it off. Okay, so. I've cleaned it, and now I'm still moist, still wet. So now, I have to remove the backing from the nose strip and apply it. So this is the first one. This is a separate package. Gotta open up. 
Here we go. There's a little tab at the bottom. You can get it. Watch, I just cut the strip. No, I'm good. That's what it looks like, your typical nose strip. Ah, it's like a BR nose strip. It's the same exact thing, guys. Wait, what's shiny side this down? Shiny side down? Forget which side I did it. Oh, let's do this. Um, without covering everything, you need to get up in there. Up in there. All right. Then I wait 10 minutes. It's your typical nose strip. Man, I was hoping it would be something a little bit more dramatic. It's not, it's gonna hurt to pull off. It's not gonna look any different. The only difference from between um, this little kit and your normal Bior or whatever it is, nose strip is the little cotton swab cleanser. Basically just cleanse your nose first and then pop a strip on. <sighs> Whatever. I think it was cheaper than the the whole Bior no strip kit, so can't complain. I'm just I was hoping for more. Oh well, we'll see. I'll let you watch me pull it off. Anyways, so Target. I go for my coffee, but then I usually end up getting sucked into the store by the seasonal area, which I think is typical for anyone that's a mom or even human who wouldn't want to go there. It's cheap and it's fun stuff. And then you're like, okay, I'm already here in the seasonal aisle. I have a few items that are cheap. Maybe I can venture out further into the store, see what they have. And then at that point, you have to go all the way to the back of the store to make sure you've checked out every aisle possible to make sure you haven't missed anything you might potentially want or is on clearance. And then by the time you come back up to the store, you have to tell yourself, okay, it's time to go to the store now because I'm calculating my shopping cart and we are at our maximum. My husband's gonna get upset if I spend more than this amount this week at Target. If it comes back on the bank statement that I've spent more than this amount, he's gonna get, uh, He's gonna start, you know, questioning my purchases, and I can't have that if I want to continue these sweet trips to Target. So then you have to go up to the register, but of course it's self checkout. So you don't even have any human being holding you accountable. You just go to the self checkout and you make your purchases, and then they're just like, goodbye. Thank you for coming in, and you're like. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> I love Target. <laughs> but then you also feel, did I really need that? Did I really need that? And then you have to make your um, excuses for why it's okay that you purchased it. You know, like, okay, well, come on. You, you work hard. It's not like you do anything else. Like, this is your vice. I mean, you can treat yourself a couple days a week, Target. It's just a couple items or it's for the kids. The kids need a new water bottles. They need a new lunchbox. They needed new underwear and they were on clearance. They needed a new pair of shoes. I needed five pairs of underwear for twenty dollars. I needed I needed I needed it. Okay, I think it's time to rip it off. Ready? One, two, three. It's not too bad. Uh, that one was a little difficult. So, I still have gunk on my face, so it wasn't a clean pool like the other white strips. I guess I just have to wash that off. And I got a good amount of, of the blackheads. I don't know if you can see it. All those little white specks are the blackheads. 
puts all my dirty, dirty pores. Uh, I have to wash it off. But it looks a little cleaner in some areas, I can tell. Like maybe my pores are a little emptier. But anyways, that was what I bought today. Just thought I'd make a pointless video of the pointless purchases I bought from Target. I'm sure there'll be many more of these videos, but that's my day. Okay, peace.